Good evening and welcome back to today's video. Where absolutely nothing happened. Well, that's a bold face like something did happen somewhere. And what are we gonna talk about today? Things today's kids will never know. Like the rotary phone. That's right, you know the phone? You hung on the wall and you had to dial the dial your, you use a rotary dial to dial your number. Remember those? Remember those? Yeah, I remember those. Oh, let's see. Renting a VCR. That's right. Back in the days where video cassettes were a thing. And in order, and we didn't buy any, so it's like you have to go to the video store, rent said video, video cassette recorder. Along with the any movies that are on tape to watch. Yeah. What else, what else do, do I remember? Ah, let's see. The stereo where you had a vinyl record player, a cassette, a cassette tape player, and a radio. Yes. The cassette recorder you can either record the songs off the off the vinyl or off the radio. Yes, those were the things. Vinyl, vinyl records are making a comeback though, apparently. Ah, let's see. What else can I add? Well, this is gonna be in the meantime. Uh, I can read out this clue. Encyclopedias. No, we don't have encyclopedias. If you want information, you can Google, Wikipedia. Back in the days, you needed a physical book. Call them an encyclopedia. Also, a dictionary. That's right. Or a thesaurus. That's right. Two, I was going to say calculator, but I'm sure there's calculators on these cell phones. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Now, yesterday's Final Jeopardy category was fa fatherly nicknames, because yesterday being Father's Day. Answer, father of the Continental Congress. Also, father of the stove. Question, who is Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, no. No. Tupperware. Tupperware is another one. I think we still have Tupperware now. Tupperware parties. Ah, yes, I was kind of dry to know Tupperware party once. Nah. Anyways, Jeopardy round. Time for a snack for 200. Answer. Arr. Snacks from this Buccaneer brand include veggie puffs and aged white cheddar puffs. No idea, but I am kind of craving for a snack now. Ah, yes. What else did we... We used to play street hockey back in the day. It's more fun during the winter. It's like, go through... Played until it was too dark to see, or your parents had to literally come outside and drag you home. Any parent had to yell your name, you gotta just go home. And at 10 o'clock came around and the lights started coming on. It's like, yeah, you better get your butt home. Not like nowadays. First, uh, first, first financial game I went to, November of 1985, with that in Edmonton at Old Northlands Coliseum against Toronto. I said, I said 1985. Toronto was bad then. I mean, bad. And Edmonton was pretty damn good. Gretzky, Curry, Messi. 7 1 Edmonton. Well, less than three years later, October 1980, first football game, CFL game at Commonwealth. When Commonwealth had the red seats. Yeah. 
played BC that day, and they BC beat him. I forget what the score was. Ah, yeah, I guess most scored a touchdown. Yes. His first baseball game was also in the 80s. Remember the Edmonton Trappers? Oh, yes. When it was, when it was then Renfrew Park. And then they were painted it all up and renamed it John Ducey Park. And then in 1994, after the 1994 season, they ripped it down. Sa they saved the lights. And they rebuilt what was then Telus Field. I think it's Remax Field now, but it was then Telus Field. Just in time for the 1995 season. Oh, yes. Didn't take them long. Well, what they did after they ripped the whole ballpark down and saved the license and stuck it in the parking lot, they had to do all the under underground work first, like water pipes, gas pipes, and, and as such, before the cold set in, because, because, you know, construction crews will tell you, that, yeah, that's the first thing you do. Ah, uh, yes. Good memories. I actually remember watching the first, first game at Telus Field on TV. It was on ITV. ITV had the exclusive rights to the Oilers and Trappers. ITV before it became Global Edmund. Ah, good times. I think 1260 CF Ryan had the Oilers. I'm not sure if they had the Eskimos. No, Elks. Yeah, 1260, TSN 1260, is no, 1260 radio is no longer on the air. How rude was that? Just right in the middle of a show, I think it was on Friday. Done. No warning. Radio is cut, though, which sucks. Well, anyways, that was a little fun video for today, so in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.